Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about T4 and I want to talk about how free to play players can speed run their way to unlocking T4. So in the past, I would say that uh, when this game started, it would take about between a year and a year and a half to unlock T4, uh, especially if you didn't know what you were doing. Uh, and then there were some upgrades, there were some updates in the game, uh, and then people got they, they kind of found the right way to to get there and you could get it all the way down to basically eight eight to six months and I'm talking about free to play and it's it varies depending on what kind of if you're active if you're in a big guild and uh, so today I want to talk about how to get t4 in about four to six months um, so we're gonna I'm gonna go over uh, what you need to do. And, um, and how you can speed run your way to unlocking T4. So the first thing you want to do is when you start your account, your bare bones, you obviously you want to train some T1 and you want to start gathering. You're going to go around the map. Um, please, please don't, don't, uh, don't do this around the base because you're gonna, people are going to be mad at you unless you're in a very, very a new server and everyone's doing that. But basically you want to go and you want to um, you want to gather everything except gold. I mean, you can do gold, but what you're really looking for is the uh, material. So the feather, logs, and ancient bark uh, from um, from uh, timber. Uh, the rich vein is gonna give you coal, minerals, metal. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The uh, food, the field will give you linen, fur pelt, and vines. But you're really looking for linen. And then where is the stone, rocks? You're gonna get platinum, amber, copper, copper coil, lava mud. But you're really looking at platinum and copper coil. And the reason why you want to get those materials is you want to start building your construction and research set. Uh, when you're gonna start, you're gonna be level one. Is you're gonna breeze through the first level. Don't build stupid. No, I'm sorry. It's not, don't build subpar equipment. Start building the right things. So for construction, some of it is gonna be from monster hunting. So we're talking about, I mean, there's one, um, yeah, there, there's, you, you're gonna, the main hand, you're gonna get this one from, um, from gathering. Uh, you're gonna get some of it from Nosros and some of it from Griffin. This one was from uh, Therathorn, but I don't suggest that you build this equipment. I think it's a mistake that I did that, but it's my it's my best uh, piece of equipment as far as main end for construction. So that's why it's there. But work on your accessories, and for this you're gonna need um, you're gonna need linen. You're gonna need that's it. I think this one's metal. Yep, and then copper coil. So work on these. You're gonna have one accessory when you start. You're gonna quickly unlock a second one, but the third one's gonna take some time. So uh, work on two of them uh, at a time. Uh, and then you're gonna be doing the same thing for research. So for research, there's a bit more. Uh, so these, the flutes, uh, the vice grips, and then the, what's it called? The ca ca cavalry mail. There's also another one that comes free and I, I think I think until you get this one to go, the other one is better. I think the other one's better. So um, that's probably the last one you want to work on, even though it's level 35. Uh, you you really want to work on these. Uh, the other ones, Nasrus, Griffin, and then this is gonna come from um, Jade Worm. But yeah, it's level 60. It's gonna take some time. So that's not a priority when you start. But you gotta work on your research and construction gear. So, so that when, as soon as you get the level, you want to equip them whenever you research and build up. So, third point, you want to talk, you want to work on your heroes. So, what you're gonna want to do is you're uh, there's some free to play heroes that you get from the chapters. So, you gotta rank up, you gotta grade up those heroes. So, you gotta run through the chapters, you're gonna want to. Uh, max out the normal and then the elite. Uh, sometimes you're gonna get stuck. Uh, there are some very great videos. Brendo Free to Play has some really nice guides, old videos, but they're still they're still relevant because 
this part of the game has not really changed. So basically you want to boat rank up. And when I say rank up, I mean you want to get the trophy so you get to rank 8. Uh, at the minimum you want rank 7 because that's where you get the last uh, skills. Uh, some of them are, are passive like this one. Some of them are active when you send your hero into battle. So that's the difference. And the grade will just give you a better bonus. Now, the rank is important for Colosseum and for monster hunting. Um, so you want to work on that. The point number four would be, please focus on mandatory buildings. So if you want to get there as fast as possible, you got to get your castle to level 25. So you basically at each level, it's not at each level, but basically if you do each of those building at the same time, you're gonna get there. So a farm, a mine, a timber, uh, what's it called? Lumber mill. And then this one is quarry. You uh, need at least one barrack, one infirmary and one manor. Uh, so level those up. And then there's the unique building. So the, uh, is it the wall? Yeah, the castle wall, the castle obviously, the vault, the watchtower. There we go. Uh, you also have the embassy, the academy, the cabinet, the battle hall, the prison, the trading post. Yeah, trading post and the uh, altar. So all of these are mandatory. Everything here for familiars and the treasure trove is not mandatory, but, but there are going to be part of the support building that I'm going to talk about later. And then... Point number five, you need to focus on mandatory research. So there's only two research tree you need to work on for to unlock T4. That is mandatory. I'm not, but there's gonna be, I'm gonna talk about something else also. So for economy, you need to uh, get everything at level 10 all the way here. You don't need jam harvesting. Uh, and you need to do that in order to unlock, uh, well, not T4, but actually being able to do army offense level Army Offense 1, level 10, it's mandatory that economy is completed up to that point. And then to unlock T4, you need everything above to be completed. So level 10, and then every other like T1, T2, T3, well, you don't unlock T1, it's, you start your account with T1. So you need to, to get all these research level 10 in order to unlock T4. Uh, don't work on, on, Siege T4, unless you plan on going for uh, T5, which we're, I'm talking about you're speeding, you're speed running your way to T4. Now, this is the things that are mandatory buildings and research. Uh, now, point number six you want to get some support research and extra buildings. So that's where this comes into play because you're going to realize that uh, it's not going to work. It's not really going to work. So my first suggestion for research, monster hunting. So you got, you got to work on monster hunting for a couple reasons. The first one, monster hunting gives you, whenever you, you, you hunt monsters, you're going to get speed up. You're going to get gems. You're going to get resources. You're going to get monster material. That's very important to progress. Uh, if you only unlock level one, you're not going to get a lot. First of all, you're not going to kill monsters with this and you're not going to contribute for your guild. Uh, every time you kill a monster, you get a drop uh, and everyone in your guild gets it. So that's that's very important. My suggestion is work on this all the way to level nine because you need level 25 academy to get everything at level 10. Um, all the way to level nine up here. Uh, don't don't work on Monster Hunt 5. Anyway, you need Academy 25 for that. Um, but yeah, you can get to level 9 and you're going to be efficient at Monster Hunting. So that's a, a good one to do. Uh, next up is Army Leadership. There's only a couple research you need to do. Do the bare minimum to get to max deposit and then uh, get this to level 6. And the reason why I say level 6 is because you don't need... To have all of this to level six to get your max deposit to level six so if you got this to level one i believe this is you can go all the way to level six and then it's it costs a bit more for each level after that because you need to get 
level 7, level 8 for all those research above. So, and treasure trove will help you uh, get more gems. You need gems. Military common, it's about the same thing, although there's a couple more research. You want to get to max deposit and energy limit. Uh, unlock everything so that you can unlock this and then increase like level it up to level six both of them that's going to help you with your gems and that's going to help you with monster hunting like i said very important and lastly i'd say work on familiars uh research is going to help you uh not research but the resources that's going to be helping you uh each of the pack one two three you're it's going to help you pack one is going to help you with resources Pack two is gonna help you with. Um, I'm trying to uh, to. Well, there it's it's still resources, but you're gonna get like uh, extra cargo ship. You're gonna get extra resources from uh, Evil Weevil, uh, extra Coliseum stuff like that. And then uh, pack three is gonna give you like uh, Holy Stars is gonna give you gems. It's like you want to work towards pack three and then stop there. Uh, you can do the rest later after you've unlocked uh, pack, uh, T4. So these are the three. Uh, is it three? No, that's really four. Research three, I suggest to work. But uh, mostly try to complete as much as you can in monster hunting. And then the other three just do uh, all the way, uh, like half, half of, of, of the research. Now, as far as buildings, uh, you're going to see that if you only have these four buildings and no extra, you're not going to get uh, many resources. And as far as here, I suggest doing a bunch of manners so that you generate some gold and that you um, you can start training your T1, T2. Uh, you don't really need uh, infirmary. There's no there's no reason for you to go in fury. Uh, until you have T4 anyway, so you're you're not gonna risk a lot of troops. Don't don't build one or two barracks is enough also. And on the other side here, make sure that you work on your familiars. Uh, if you don't know what to do, I suggest you do just you you just evenly build those those buildings, so springs, uh, gyms, and spire. But my suggestion is to never have more than two gems. To have a to have never more than two spires and then the rest springs. It is my suggestion, but you can do as you want, obviously. Uh, so those are the extra buildings. Uh, work on treasure trove. This is a very good investment. So uh, you, I don't, I don't the the pickaxe. You need to buy the pickaxe for that. It's a good investment to get to level eight and nine. Um. Oh, next up. Point number seven, you got to do the weekly events. Basically, you got to log in every day. Uh, you got to do the Dragon Arena. You got to do Lord's Cup, the Guild Showdown, Guild Fest. There's, uh, what's the other one? KVK. There's way, way too many rewards. Uh, like, for instance, Artifact Coins. And then from these, I got a bunch of Speed Up. It is not a good level, but this is extra. If you're free to play those extra uh, will uh, <laughs> they will compensate for uh, someone that's pay to play and doesn't do the events uh, definitely you're gonna it, it's it's as if you were getting some packs and you were not paying for it so very important next up complete the monthly labors for techno labs it's so important um so i'm not done with uh, with uh, labors there's still some more I can do but for the month I have done everything I'm just getting the bonus prizes on the free-to-play uh, silver pass and this will give me uh, resources that's always good as far as uh, what you're gonna get you're gonna get artifact coins some archaic tomes at least at this time it is a, uh, an archaic tome um, rotation, I guess, and then the techno labs. Very important because they're gonna save you resources and they're gonna save you speed up. It's gonna speed up the process very, very fast. And then you, you're gonna get the rest, and it's it's all good. You really need to get everything that you can when you're free to play. So uh, you gotta do the, the the monthly labors. At least get. Uh, all the way to year the bonus prices resources it's up to you guys i try to complete as much as i can but i will not um i will not try to do like 
do phase three solo events three times just to get a, an extra uh what's it called uh, bonus prices the silver labor chest i will get it if i get it uh next up point number nine i cannot show you these well that's not true well okay so i'm done with adventure log uh adventure log is really easy to do it's you just gotta take your time and every six hours there's a reset uh but basically you're gonna get some speed up you're gonna get i don't recall speed up um you're gonna get resources probably you might also be getting uh key material for those for those buildings which you need them uh so it's important and then vergeway vergeway i'm up to chapter 11 uh so basically the chapter war is gonna give you some stuff that you need for your special buildings it's gonna give you resources and speed up it's not a lot but it adds up so you gotta do this and then all your cards are gonna give you some bonuses. I wish there was a way we could see the total bonus that we get from this, like we do for uh, Artifact. But it's not a lot, but it adds up. I mean, we're talking about, I think it's 55 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, it's about, yeah, 56. 6, 10. Yeah, something like that. It's 56 or 61. Or, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, 55. I think it's 55. Yeah, I, I miscounted that. But basically, you just do that for the rewards, for the stats. And basically, my suggestion, guys, there's two very good uh, YouTube channel, Gamer Boy and Golden Shine Gamer. If you type Vergeway, they're usually coming up on top, but there's a reason for that. Those those guys are putting out some very nice videos and it really shows you how to do it. Uh, so it's, yeah, it 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 adds up, guys. It's, it's important and you're gonna get, like I said, the special uh, equipment. Just remember, you need two, uh, 200,000 of each. Wait a second. Now it's 200,000 gems worth of each uh, um, building. So the the prison hall, the uh, the the prison, the battle hall, the prison, and the altar. So basically, you need 20,000 of each. Yeah, 20,000 at 10 gems each. Yes, 200,000, and then for 25, you basically need golden hammer, and they're 2,000, about 2,000 each. Uh, so that's that's for T5, it's 650,000 gems, and that gets us to point number 10 gems. Gems, you need to optimize and you need to save your gems. So, like I mentioned before, monster hunting when you monster hunt, you're gonna get some gems, uh, you're gonna get some gems from monster hunting. You don't have to kill the monsters to get the gems, but you need my suggestion is oh wow. Uh, the reset, the monster reset just came. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, kill, kill the monsters. You're gonna give guild gifts for your guild. Your guildmates are gonna give you gifts. You're gonna get some gems from that. It's very important. So that's one thing. The other thing, uh, <laughs> so many ways to get gems. Coliseum. Make sure you're always doing your entries. And obviously, I'm. I'm done with T4. I'm not doing it uh, on a daily basis every day, but you got to stay as high as possible so that you can get some gems every three hours. The other thing, the other thing, uh, what else? Okay, so you need to do your skirmishes. So you unlock your labyrinth. Uh, the labyrinth, whenever you get to the, um, oh wow, the jackpot is really low, but every time you get to, um, to the end, uh, there's a chance you're gonna get the gremlin and you're if you do that you're at least gonna get I think it's 900 gems minimum so uh, you got to do this same thing uh, tycoon tycoon you don't have to buy the tokens you can only you can just use the free ones every day there's a chance you're gonna you're gonna land on a gremlin so very important uh, you gotta work on your familiars there's some familiars that helps with gems uh, this one gives you between a thousand and two thousand gems from the familiar skills. 
Uh, so that's why this is important. Your treasure trove, level it, make sure it's always investing. And uh, yeah, put everything that you can in there uh, in 30 days. Just don't like put it there, save it. It's like it's like a bank. You gotta you put it there. You don't think about it for 30 days and then it gets back to you. The events, the weekly, the monthly events are going to give you gems. Make sure you do your phase three on all the events. That's very important. Don't waste your gems. <laughs> That's the other thing. Uh, what else? You're going to get some gems from uh, the mystery box, but it's not a lot. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, like I said, you need six, 650,000 gems. Um, that's going to be a lot. Uh, but so you, you got to make sure that you're in a guild uh, that's active. You got to be active. You want to get as many guild gifts as you can. The bonus chest. Uh, that's from uh, buying packs. You're not gonna get gems for that or it's it's low. It's not a lot and on a daily basis There's also gems from the VIP quest here. So make sure you open these up uh, every day do your daily uh, events uh, Daily quests. You're gonna get some resources some artifacts uh, Some well, I mean that is at castle 25 you're uh, Below 25. It's gonna be different, but it's it's, it's about the same um yeah, so that's about it as far as the top 10 what you need to do. My guess is around four months nowadays, four to six months, if you are using your Techno Labs in combination with your speed up. So economy, military, monster hunt, and then a couple in leadership, military common and familiars just for your gems and for your support skills, your familiar skills. Now, lastly, lastly, three things that you uh, should not be doing uh, so that those are bonus tips from me so first of all don't use your well i don't have a good example but don't use your techno labs for small research so depending on your castle level your uh the cost of techno labs is gonna be between like i think it goes all the way to 250 um, thousand might and it's still gonna cost me one techno lab you don't want to use one techno lab on a research that's like 500 might, 5,000 might. So you want to make sure that you optimize your techno labs. Um, so that's the first tip. Second one, don't waste your gems. Uh, like I said, uh, please don't gem troops. If you don't have T4, there's no reason to gem troops. First of all, don't use gems to uh, speed up your research, your buildings. Um, save your gems don't and it sucks bargain store is great but there's no reason for you to, to use gem on the bargain store if you don't have your t4 you want to speed run all the way to t4 so uh, there's no bargain store but sadly um, don't uh, I don't suggest spending gems on the bargain store until you have your t4 at the very least um, even though it's 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 a great way to uh, plan ahead, but we're talking about speed running your way to T4. And lastly, don't be like these guys, huh? Don't don't send messages to YouTubers asking for gems T4 and and oh this guy is asking for 69k soul crystals. All right, I know you guys don't do it to me because you know I'm free to play, so I, I cannot gift, right? I cannot use, I don't have the uh, Elite Labyrinth on, on, um, on my accounts except on my main. But I see this whenever I see a stream of Sneaky Tashi or Worthy Prince, Avatrex, uh, people, they're sending them emails, uh, message, um, asking about unlocking T4 for them. Please don't do that. That's very cringe. And I've never seen anyone say, oh, wow, I received this message from this guy in uh, in a very small guild that I've never known. And I'm going to unlock T4 for, for them. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't be like these guys. Uh, yeah, it's very. All right, guys, that's about it. Please like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Let me know also in the comments below. What was your journey to T4? Would you do things differently now that you know a better way to do it? 
And once again, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.